Good morning, folks. How are you? It's been a long time, hasn't it? This is your friendly neighborhood, Grumpy Janitor, straight up out of the broom closet. And you'll never guess what's coming up. It's our favorite holiday. Happy Love Sucks Day. Well, some are calling it Valentine's Day, but I call it Love Sucks Day. And <clears throat> I've made two videos about this already. I guess it's my annual thing, you know what I'm saying? Made a video, some made a video in 2008, made one in 2009. Wait a minute. No, no, no. It was 2009, and then 2010, and then now this is my third video. I don't know, there's something about this holiday that just irks the hell out of me. I've already done this, but I to you about uh, three times, and this is three times now, and I guess, uh, I'm getting dismissed that, well, I'm getting dismissed as somebody who's angry because he's single. Well, they, really, is that the case? Uh, let me tell you something. I would rather be single than to have to go out of my way to just buy, buy, buy for a holiday that means absolutely nothing, that has no actual meaning when, like I said before, you could get your lover or something any other day of the, any other day of the year. I mean, you could spend time with your lover like every day of the year. Why is February the 14th so special? I just don't, I, maybe I just don't get it, you know? I'm thinking, maybe I should just remain single until this, um, thing just vanishes out of, in the thin air, you know what I'm saying? Because it's an abstract concept. It has been implanted and indoctrinated into our minds that you have to get your love for something on February the 14th. Now on any other day, God forbid you get her something on February the 12th or February the 4th, the 15th, on February the 3rd, God forbid, that, that might cause relationship problems if you don't get her a thing on February the 14th. Or maybe it's just me, I don't know. I'm just saying, you know. You know, sometimes being single, single has its perks, you know. Never having to answer to anybody. Never having to worry about, you know, going through all these extremes, you know. Trust me, I love women. I think women are the most cherished treasure on this earth. I do. But, you gotta look at it from a perspective of maybe not politically per se, but maybe I think it's, I think it's, I think of Valentine's Day in the same context that Jews think of uh, Christmas. Do you think Christmas is nothing more than some type of uh, excuse to go out, you know, and spend money? I think Christmas has a deeper meaning, but but I do respect, you know, Jewish people and all people of every religion. The fact is, Valentine's Day doesn't have anything to do with religion. Okay, granted, it was named after a guy named St. Valentine, um, somewhere. I guess I'm going to have to, you know, maybe look that up somewhere. But, they don't, I mean, people don't get off of school on that day. There ain't gonna be no vigils dedicated to anybody. People don't, you know, go to church on that day. You know, if it falls on a Sunday, you know, and people just don't. I know it's itching. fact is, I really don't get Valentine's Day at all. Maybe somebody can just help me out with it. Maybe this time I can get somebody to actually respond and not dismiss me as a guy who's grumpy because he's single. Well, I mean, hell, you probably figure out why I'm single, but that's not the point, is it? The point is that there's a lot of holidays out there, St. Patrick's Day and, um, top of my head, uh, April Fool's Day and 
Honestly, to tell you the truth, Arbor Day doesn't make a lot of sense to me either. But I guess I might want to save those for another video. I think I'll just spend my time, you know, picking on holidays that don't make any sense, you know. Because... But nonetheless, I hope all of you enjoy your little Valentine's Day. Just remember that if you really love somebody, that every day is Valentine's Day, or as I call it, Love Sucks Day. Because, you know, there's just some females out there that are just very, very greedy. You know, y'all. You take your man's credit cards and you go shopping. And leave him fitting the bill. And how much of it do you pay? There are some girls like that. Now, I mean, if you love somebody, you're going to want to spend money on them. But you cannot allow them to let them suck you dry. Especially now on February the 14th. I mean, this Valentine's Day thing, I think it ought to be abolished. Okay, it ought to be, you know, brainwashed from our um, sub subconscious because that's, that's the way, you know, the stores, like the one I work for, uh, Kohl's and Walmart, Target, they're working self-consciously, subconsciously. Well... As you probably guessed, this video is not scripted, it's raw. These are my true feelings about this bullshit holiday that should not have been celebrated since it began because it means nothing, because love is supposed to mean a lot more than this. Boxes of chocolate, flowers, candy, you know, going out to dinner at the most expensive freaking restaurant in town. Love is supposed to be a lot deeper than that. You know, sharing your innermost thoughts, you know, intimacy, you know, privacy, and you know, I mean, it's like, those things are taboo now. Dating is, you know, an obsolete idea now. It's like, you know, you get a man, so I mean, you know, you ladies know what I'm talking about. You get a man, and then you, cha-ching, ring the register. Yes. My, my, my nose is like a motherfucker. Um, I thought I'd not make this on Valentine's Day. I couldn't wait. I had to get it out. This is the third time I've tried to, you know, go to some, you know, try to input for it. And I think I'll keep trying. And I think I'll keep fighting Valentine's Day because it fucking sucks. And to tell you the truth, I just assume not even leave the house except to go to work on that day. Maybe just lock myself in because the mushiness is at an all-time high when it could have been at, at a, on a, at a, on a, at an all-time high on any other day. You can get mushy 365 days a year and it's not going to matter. You can buy her things every single daggone day if you can afford it and, not, and it's not going to matter. Because one sweet day she's going to break up with you and leave with somebody else who is richer, stronger, physically. And being mentally, you know, superior to this other guy is not going to really matter. Because there are a lot of shallow girls out there. I'm sure there are very deep females out there, but for the most part, but from what I've seen, girls can be really, really shallow and go for the physically buff, six pack abs type people, which, yes, I'm starting for to be, but that's for my own reasons. And I'm going to take my little sweet time on it because uh, I got to have a workout regimen that. It's my uh, schedule. I have two jobs. And I don't expect whenever I do get a six pack ab for all these girls to just come hopping on me, hopping on my dick. I only expect to have a little bit more energy and to feel good. And, you know, relationships, they come and they go. And I'm not making this video to make excuses. I'm only making this video to try to understand the mundane concepts of 
these holidays what we just come up with out of the blue and Valentine's Day you know love sucks day happens to be one of those days and you know it and I know it look it up think about it I implore you don't go through too many extremes on February the 14th other than that you got to be safe, have a Maxwell House, Folgers, uh, Jeffy Day, whatever kind of coffee you can name, no decaf, regular straight through, you can even drink it black if you want to, but you got to do something to remain up. Have a Maxwell House, Folgers, Maxwell House, Folgers, Jeffy Day, and Bon Appetit, you bitches. Enough said.